Have you ever been frustrated by the constant delays of space launches due to government regulations? If you're a Starship fan and have been tracking its journey since the first launch attempt back in April, I'm sure you felt this way. Well, it turns out we're not alone. Leading space companies are feeling the same way, and they've recently united in expressing their concerns about these holdups, particularly from the FAA. With this united stance, the FAA might be in trouble. Will this push the FAA to grant the Starship's second launch license? Let's find out. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates, especially on the upcoming Starship's second launch attempt. This week, at a Senate hearing, representatives from America's leading space companies, including SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic, highlighted the challenges they face due to the current FAA regulatory and licensing processes. They collectively made a call for these processes to be enhanced, considering the rapid advances in space technology. During this session, SpaceX's vice president presented a compelling argument. He underscored the critical point we've reached in the space industry, emphasizing that the clock is ticking, especially with competitive threats from state actors such as China. Highlighting SpaceX's commitment and partnership with NASA, he emphasized the company's mission to land American astronauts on the moon with Starship, aiming to achieve this monumental feat before China does. Now let's be honest here. Amid all the companies voicing concerns about the stringent regulations, SpaceX undoubtedly bears the brunt of these challenges the most. While we occasionally hear about Blue Origin or Virgin Galactic's ventures, it's SpaceX that's consistently making headlines with its relentless launch cadence. When did you last hear about Blue Origin launching a rocket? That's right, it's hard to recall. Meanwhile, SpaceX's achievements in 2023 are nothing short of staggering. The company has already launched a jaw-dropping 74 rockets this year, comprising 69 Falcon 9, 4 Falcon Heavies, and of course the iconic Starship. With a target to complete 100 launches by year's end, we're essentially witnessing the awe-inspiring sight of a rocket breaking the atmosphere every three to four days. Musk clearly feels hindered by bureaucratic processes. A recent tweet of his sheds light on this frustration. After the Starship launch in April, he pointed out the sluggish pace at which U.S. fish and wildlife officials were reviewing SpaceX's actions. In his tweet, he exclaimed, It's crazy that SpaceX can build such a big rocket faster than they can review some papers. His exasperation is evident. The innovative company is advancing at breakneck speed, but it seems red tape is trying to put brakes on their progress. And it's not just Musk who's expressing this frustration. As fans of space exploration, many of us share this sentiment. It's become oddly apparent that in today's space age, we find ourselves more anxious about bureaucratic holdups than the actual launch of the most powerful rocket ever built. Musk's impatience with bureaucracy isn't something new. Back in SpaceX's early days, he famously took matters into his own hands when he felt things were moving too slowly. One of the clearest examples occurred in early 2021 with the launch of Starship prototype SN1. Eager to move forward and possibly tired of waiting for the Federal Aviation Administration's approval, SpaceX proceeded with a test launch without securing all the necessary permissions. The prototype unfortunately met a catastrophic end when it exploded. While this move showcased Musk's drive to push the boundaries, it wasn't without its consequences. The said launch faced significant backlash from regulatory bodies, highlighting the potential risks and liabilities of acting without proper clearance. The incident resulted in increased scrutiny for SpaceX's subsequent launches. This strained relationship was tested even further after the first official Starship flight test in April. The FAA delayed the launch several times, causing a mix of anticipation and frustration. When they finally gave the green light, the launch took place on April 20th. But things didn't go as planned. A few engines stopped working and the rocket failed at stage separation. Only four minutes into the flight, the SpaceX team had to make the tough call to blow up the rocket to prevent more unpredictable issues. The explosion resulted in rocket parts scattered everywhere. Some pieces traveled miles, harming the environment and local wildlife. This mishap didn't just spread debris. It made the already rocky relationship between SpaceX and the FAA even more challenging. Dealing with red tape has been a consistent challenge for SpaceX. Company officials shared with the Post that it took them two years to get their first Starship launch license. And now they've been waiting for months for the license for the second launch. 
SpaceX's senior vice president shared their impatience, saying, We've been ready to fly for a few weeks now. This ongoing wait highlights the difficulties faced by companies like SpaceX as they try to break new ground in space exploration while navigating through regulatory hoops. Every groundbreaking project is bound to have its ups and downs, and this was a key theme of the recent discussions surrounding SpaceX and the FAA. At the heart of the debate was how the FAA is adapting to the fast-growing space industry. SpaceX was clear in pointing out the challenges they face because of the current FAA rules. They've stressed that the FAA's commercial space office needs a lot more resources. In fact, SpaceX believes the office should at least double its current team to handle the rise in rocket launch license applications. Ironically, SpaceX even hinted that SpaceX would be willing to aid the FAA in their recruitment processes, if that's where the bottleneck lies. It's a telling statement on the spirit of SpaceX, not just focused on personal milestones, but on the collective progress of the space industry. During the discussion, Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, strongly opposed the regulatory oversight for the next Starship launches, seeing the FAA's measures as overbearing environmental checks. On the topic of the lunar version of Starship's timeline, an official from SpaceX pointed out that the company aims to lead the space race and feels constrained by current regulations. SpaceX's frustrations with bureaucratic holdups are evident. Zooming out, SpaceX's Starship stands as a testament to the future of space exploration. Designed to carry a whopping 150 tons into orbit, it's a vehicle primed for lunar and Martian landings. The collaboration between NASA and SpaceX, especially with Starship being a part of the Artemis program and Musk's dream of Mars colonization, underscores its significance. The Starship initiative has garnered interest from sectors ranging from space tourism to defense. Its efficiency promises to redefine space solutions. While NASA has invested heavily in Starship, the spacecraft's cost-effectiveness compared to traditional rockets like the SLS is clear. The contrasting approaches between NASA and SpaceX shine through. NASA pursues perfection, whereas SpaceX opts for continuous testing and refinements. That's all for today's SpaceX update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.